Who do you trust? Who has the power in your life? I was in my prayer time this morning and my heart began to be saddened by the amount of people I see on this app that are obsessed with demonic power. Even after they're reborn child of God, they believe that a demon can do whatever they want to you in your life, but they don't believe God can. You don't have to walk around in fear because of this teaching, this demonic deliverance teaching, thinking that everything that you do, if you fail at, a demon can come on, get a hold of you and come in and overpower the spirit of God that lives in you. Do you understand that you are the temple of God? You are where the Holy Spirit dwells as a child of God. And for a demon to come into you, the Holy Spirit that's sealing you has to leave or has to lose a battle to a demon. You trust that a demon has more power than the spirit. You are a renewed creation. Do you forget the work of the cross? Do you forget what Jesus Christ has done? That he, he defeated death, hell, the grave, demons, demonic possession. You walk around with that spirit inside of you. And he's not waiting for you to mess up and leave so you can become filled with his enemy that he defeated. Who holds the power to you? You trust that a demon will finish a work, but not Christ. The vine, the true vine. Can't no weed overpower the true vine. I hate to see you walking around in fear this way. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind and boldness and faith and confidence in the finished work of the cross that you are a new creation. You are regenerated with a new spirit. You are sealed with the God that created the universe and all that is in it. But you think a measly little demon can overpower that spirit because you made a mistake. Stop walking around in fear. You got off drugs. You got out of the bondage to walk right back into the bondage of demons in your mind. Get out of the bondage. Walk in faith. Walk in love. Walk in freedom in Christ Jesus. Let go of the bondage. God has the power. I love you.